Let's tune into our imagination generating cells. What is that, you may ask? Well, when we move into our deepest core and leave behind all conditioned ideas and training, all we are exposed to in everyday life, we can reach that essential reality inside us that generates patterns that are totally unique to us. And we alone are able to access these unique patterns. Our very own unique patterns come in the form of symbol and metaphor. Imagination works in image. That is why we call it imagination. To lead you into this world of imagination, we will enter gradually with a completely open mind and heart. Leave behind all your preconceptions and travel on a journey to take us into a new world within us. Your creative imagination is so desperate to talk to you. Allow yourself to see with new eyes. No mind or knowledge is required here. Be free and wild. There are no rules. We will start to enter this new world of imagination by going through the portal of the known world, our external world. So I want you to look around you. What do you see? What immediately attracts your attention? What object, person, animal, nature, mineral, vegetable or other is attracting your attention right now? Just notice. Good. Now it's time to draw a shape or make a mark representing the object in your physical world. The representation is not an exact replica, only a mark or abstract symbol. Take a moment and just enjoy making these abstract shapes of the image that draw your attention. Good. Just enjoy the process of mark making. We are now ready to move deeper over the threshold of the outer world to the inner one. Our inner world take us into a terrain of feelings and sensations. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. Notice your internal feelings. What emotion are you aware of? Are you happy? Are you sad? Frightened? Alone? Angry? Irritated? Calm? Curious? In love? Just neutral? It doesn't matter. Whatever it is that you feel, this is important right now. The strongest sensation that you have inside you, take note of it. Just allow it to become stronger. Yes, make it even stronger. That's right. The stronger the feeling becomes, the closer it resembles a color. Wow, see that color that it takes on. Notice the color. Intensify the color. Now, use that color. Allow that color to speak to you. Our emotional world is sometimes confusing and chaotic. Just go with it. If you want to, ask yourself questions about it. If you're not sure about these sensations, allow it to just take a form that flows into another form until it becomes clear. Allow the answer to come to you over time sometimes. 
without analyzing it, just allow this feeling to transform in a very specific color and now hold that color. Great job! Use your colored markers and pencils to make further marks and color blocks in your initial abstract marks. Incorporate the colors into your drawings. Take a moment to do this. Have fun. Play with these colors and the marks. Continue to make it grow. Just enjoy what comes out. No judgment. Good. We are now ready to visit the other invisible worlds, the world of the spiritual self inside you. The spiritual self is that part of your psyche that is even beyond the sensational internal self. The mysterious part in you that can also show you parts of the bigger picture of your life. The big picture of your life is about the current phase of your life or your circumstances. Are you experiencing an empty nest? Are you experiencing illness, losing loved ones? What is the stage of your life challenge that you are facing right now? What is your spiritual psyche telling you about this phase? Allow an image or color to come to you. Yes, it has an image. It has a color. It is an abstract symbol that's just formed its way into your mind right now. And add this color or image to your expression on paper. If you want to, you can use a new piece of paper. In the terrain of the spiritual self, we allow it to talk to us instead of us thinking about it. Sometimes our thinking interferes with this part of ourselves. Allow whatever it is to come to you, to come to the surface and catch it on paper in your very own way, no matter what it shows. That is your unique expression. Good, that's wonderful. Now you have the beginning of a process that can instigate your creative method. Work on these pointers as continuous questions. You can start with the invisible big picture of life phases. You, you can start with the emotions or you can start with the outer world. Any one of these dimensions are relevant if you incorporate them all in the end. All the worlds reflect each other anyway. Ask yourself if you have all three dimensions representing your art. Notice what you respond to most. Is it the outer realistic world? Is it your inner emotional world? Or is it the bigger picture, the visible, the invisible or the emotional? You can now focus on what you resonate with most and not question yourself or try to do what others do. Do your art the way you are. Do your art the way you authentically function. I hope you enjoyed this session. Until we meet again. Bye-bye.